Hello, everybody, and welcome to the CB Podcast. I am Happy Mario Zombie, and I'm here with Zach Yeti, leader of the Majorca Nation. And I'm here with Blasty Bladed, leader of New France, and Paisano, leader, former leader of Greece. Former leader. Hey. Yes, former and leader. And spelling moderator. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, so today we're going to be getting into the news that happened this week. A lot of shit happened oh this God. week. A and lot of stuff. What? What's wrong, Paisano? No, too much stuff happened this week. The first week of the podcast, and we already got like a full news article to talk about. Yeah, pretty much. So, uh, yeah, pretty much this week we had a fucking owner go crazy on the gun. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. What happened with – so – what was his, what was the guy's name? And Cladius? And yeah, yeah, yeah the, fuck, the brony. Wrong with that guy? The, yeah, the brony guy. So he comes into the server. No one even knew who this guy was, right? And then all mm. of a sudden you see him pop up in the developer, on, above the moderators, above even Murphy. Well, and all of a sudden we, we wake up one day and like we get a notification at like 3.45 in the morning, Eastern time. And it wow. says that the, the server's been changed. The server's Out of nowhere. been completely no one had... altered. Like... Mm. We had two generals for some reason. Yeah, general two was my personal favorite because <laughs> two is bigger than one. Where the hell? Wait, why the hell was there even like two generals? That's, I don't. I literally, stupid. I fucking told. I don't know. I told Murphy. He had he had told me like I think two weeks prior that they were considering some Discord reforms, and he had told me about the two generals, and I said that's fucking stupid. That's like that's beyond stupid. That's what? What's the point? Why have two generals? It's not. It's not doing anything. It's actually disorganizing. And by the way, Clad isn't eat like you know. He's the brother of the owner. Yeah, he's. Yeah, he's I think that's, that's why he was doing so much yeah. shit. That's why he was there. I think he was always the, like. I always thought he was there. It's just he was never on. Yeah, he never yeah. Really did anything. Yeah, I thought he was in that form of Victorian girl. In all honesty, it all started that one fateful when I said, "Shut up, Brony." Oh God. <laughs> So it's your fault. It's all happened. Honestly, oh it, all right. At least we get a sign. So I remember. I remember waking up, going to school, waiting in my first period. I'm just talking on Discord, and so in, you know, and Clad's in there. He was. I forgot who he was talking to. I want to say it was like Pavel Real or maybe Francesco, but that's besides the point. So I say, "Shut up, Brony," because I see Brony profile picture. And so immediately to me, haha, funny. And then oh, he says, it's a not guy funny. Who liked the pony. Yeah, he says, not funny. I said, okay, shut up, Brony. Then <laughs> there goes Banhammer. And later, not, it was like almost yeah. half a week later, I learned that his reason being was R16, that time being no insulting people. Right. Oh. That was something he did so much. He, how, I think there was seven people that he muted for, and that even murphy said it was just for such pointless reason he was and that's coming from fucking murphy right. oh, yeah <laughs> you want to get an input from people from a person in the general chat sure uh what about sure. this gogo x1 da silva sure the fucking he's the only one in so i'll just move him in Hello, yo what's uh, up go-go. Go-go. Uh, hey. from a bds group member uh yes all uh, right, what's up, man? Okay, uh, so we were just talking about uh, and Cladius. Cladius coming in. That? Do you know anything about that? Uh, I've heard some of it. Some of it. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I've just heard some of uh, what's been going on. All right. What have you heard? I've heard that he's uh, he uh, did it, did the big bad and deleted you know all the channels. All right, get, get out. Of here. <laughs> Classy, that's fake ass laughter. Get out of here. I'm, I'm moving right, Vincent. Right. How, about, how about we get? How about we get Dude, I was bad. trying not to fucking laugh yeah, the whole time. Yeah. I was I'm just adding Vincent. There like... I'm adding Vincent pun- Punch All. All right, hello Yo. Vincent. We know you. <laughs> Holy <laughs> fucking shit! <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? So coming off. Did you know ninety percent? Of millionaires and billionaires, Bernie, child <laughs> pussies. Yes, this is Bernie Sanders, the one percent, ninety-nine percent, Bernie Sanders. 
I've come to inform you about the Great White Awakening. This great, <laughs> this great right, White bro. Awakening is and known as is known Laura. to me as the Bernie Boogaloo. Vincent, we and want to I'm ask you a this. question. Yes, uh, that's not Vincent. Uh, you, that's what, Bernie what, what, what Sanders. Bernie Sanders. What, what, what are your thoughts on Encladius doing all the rules and shit? Encladius can suck my dick. <laughs> Bernie, Encladius <laughs> is the one percent of millionaires and billionaires and billionaires and millionaires and billionaires, and that of those millionaires and billionaires. But Bernie, I thought you were a millionaire too. Shut the fuck up, you stupid goy. We don't talk about that. <laughs> Give me your taxes now. <laughs> Thank you. Right, Bernie, Bernie Thank you, must Bernie. depart now to go smite the millionaires and billionaires uh, who definitely who whose names end with Berg, Steinwitz, and Goldstein. Okay? Right. Millionaires <laughs> and billionaires, Bernie Boogaloo 2020. Thank you. Alright. You're welcome, Bernie. Bernie. Thank hey, you. Hey, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. All right. All right, move dad in. Yeah, okay. Oh, this is this is uh, Robert Benici. This is my. Okay. This is the, the current king of Greece. Yes. Oh, this is current. All right. This is current it king is of Greece. Current. Dad. Hi, dad. Hi, dad. Hi, dad. Dad, where have you been? <laughs> dad, I haven't you seen milk. you in. Dad. Yeah. Six I want you to be honest. Dad. I really want you to be honest. Was hey, it son, cigarettes I... or milk? Oh, hey, it's... son, I want to go get the milk. I forgot to come back. <laughs> okay. There is no milk. <laughs> All right. We want to ask right. you a question about Encladius. What, what do you think about him? Did he do nothing wrong? Well, I'll tell you what I think about him. All right. Um, I'll be on. I'm just gonna be 100% honest with you. I just think, not saying he didn't do. What, like, you know, that whole thing with the blood on his hands and stuff? <laughs> oh, yeah, that happened. But I think he's being manip- I think he's using that as- I think he was using that maybe as a little bit of a ploy yeah. to make yeah. us feel bad for him at the same yeah. time. I thought because, it, you know- It's sort of a guilt-tripping tactic. Exactly. The, the, it, it, and that's why I didn't really care, you know. It, 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 if, like, his brother really cared, he wouldn't have, like, a high-moderation position in, in a toxic- in, not a toxic group, but, like, we're just toxic people in I mean, it. he made it more toxic. Yeah, he well, I mean, he was... almost- I, I mean, I don't even know why he stayed for that long when literally, legit everyone hates him. I wouldn't say everyone hates him, but- I, yeah, I, I would say you. the majority hey, hey, hey. So, we- me and Robert, we were talking about okay so we want to um just expand our reach over the old ottomans we want to you know fuck with them so it said hey this guy over here this hairy guy he's an ethnic greek he would love to be a just hell <laughs> so we let him go and make his own group as a vassal of him. hence becomes pontus we uh -huh. don't know what to do anymore all right because this this is the same guy who remember the whole byzantine thing like however long ago that was oh god this, this is the same guy that led the byzantine pontus, same guy which then, which then merged with really? greece and um malta this is yeah this is the pontus this guy so, oh i remember malta was malta. Yeah. oh dude i'm getting my three Romes flashbacks i malta yeah, was a very I, I shitty group yeah. well well here's the thing here's the thing with my greece right now so a lot of, for some reason, once Anthony left, now it's just a Greek thing, because Greeks, you know, they, they just go wherever the Greeks go. And since I'm Greek, they're all just like, hey, look, it's a Greek. So now I got all the Byzantine kids coming back to me, and they're bringing oh, no. back, they're bringing back all the Maltese kids back to me, which are bringing back for the kids from the two Sicilies back to me. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, what's so, yeah. next? So that's well, the thing. Well, not, well, what's next? I, 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 get, I get, like, Adorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, because like that's one of the things. You know, why I have actually, because of just, I'm I, sorry I, for interrupting you, but uh, speaking of Adorite, he's a he's actually appealing his ban. He is yeah, campaign. nah. I, I say appealing. Wait, he's what was begging. the band? He's DM'd me because he's just toxic. Honestly, that that's very bad. controversial. And the official reason was being, I think, toxicity or something like that. Yeah, he was really toxic. I'll be honest with you. The thing is, like. If you do this, you'll have to unban everyone else that did the same thing. We can't be lenient. Yeah. yeah. It, you you can't go... I can't even remember yet, right? I mean, maybe he's, maybe he's just mad that his whole legacy died, but, like... Yeah. LOL, Cordova. Because nobody liked him. 
Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I mean, Cordoba was the only. He was the only reason Cordoba was remotely successful. And now, and without, without yeah, him, Cordoba's, it's just a Cordoba uh, isn't doing that well. Listen, I'm calling it. Muslim powers are are gonna get killed soon. Uh, I agree. Yeah. Well, there's only one. The Ottomans. Or, no, right no, now there's the Ottomans. They aren't doing that well. Well, you know who's against the Ottomans, right? You got yeah. me. Well, we're not trying to go for a war. We're trying to do this peacefully, but diplomatically, we got me, Italy, Serbia. Um, we're, Spain, and Portugal might be. Um. <laughs> oh my what, God. Who else? <laughs> um. We got right. um. Germany. We got, we got um. Yeah, Germany. Germany. G G Germany's a big one in this. I, I'm. I'm actually. I don't know yet because I, the Maltese people that are coming back, they want to keep Malta, but like giving away Malta for 20 railways to, re my, to reduce my inflation all the way to 0.7. Ooh. Yeah, kind of sexy. Not I, would probably, I would probably give them an, an autonomous state or something like that, but they're still a part of Greece. Yeah, the thing is, you know, now a lot of my group believes in the Mengali idea, so that, you know, if you know what that means, that basically means everything that Greece ever had once is going to be in my Greece. Oh, and just, which you know, <laughs> I, I'm not trying to restore the Byzantine Empire. I'm more trying to make a greater unified Greece, if that makes any sense. Yeah, so all three system bowl type thing. Well, more than that. Um, Macedonia. I I I made friends with Serbs again. Because hmm? I like Serbs. Okay. Plus, I, they're close. And um, and even in, 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 let's say I disliked them, I would need them anyway to build a railway from them to Germany. So, yeah, that's true. That is true. A trans-European railway would be very vital to pretty much any well, nation. Yeah, that it, railways, it will. Well, them. what I'm trying to do is to connect Athens to Belgrade to Berlin. Yeah, you kind of do need to go through Serbia because they have like no railroads out there. And I don't know what the hell is going on with France right now, but like, what do they have? They have all. Yeah, uh, like dude. Catalonia, they got like you know northern Italy. They're Speaking expansioning. They're expansioning. Speaking of imperialism, what's yeah, what? they better not. They, if they, they better not touch the Balkans. No, they're gonna. Yeah. They, they might try. You you never. No, know. they're fucking. They, they can expansive. I, I haven't heard that much from the Soviets yet, to be honest with you. Soviets oh, yeah. haven't really been doing that many things, you know, diplomatically. They've been active, like somewhat active. I guess if they're somewhat active, they're still the Soviets. Yeah. Why there I, I know Soviets in the Victorian era? I know that Cascadia right now is at war, you know, with the Mexican Republic, which, you know, oh, yeah, let's all be honest here. Who's going to win at this one? Oh, oh definitely Mexico. Mexico. Mexico's the top power yeah. in the world, number one super they, country. They're, they're just going to come up there. Chalapas, bordito, pedito, taca. And it's just, they're, they'll, they'll make them all overweight so they can't fight. Exactly. That's the Mexican war strategy. Yeah, That's, but... <laughs> Referring back to the uh, and Muslim power point you brought back, or that you mentioned earlier, I can guarantee you there will be no Muslims in Spain other than Majorcan slaves. Oh, yeah, it's Reconquista time. That. I'm guaranteeing Reconquista time. Cordoba is on its last leg. Oh, it really there. is. Yeah, definitely. It, with the, their, their prestige is, is like probably, I think it's like 3.5 right now. They lost like all their prestige accepting that deal. Um, if I were them, I would have just fought to the end. At least get an honorable death. And Majorca is going to be the hammer that puts in that nail. Speaking of the oh, yeah, Muslim Majorca world, though. the pirate state. Yeah, Iberia yeah. is like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Iberia What's is something? a huge mess. What were we saying, Blaster? No, Tony was saying something. Yeah. I, we can just barely fucking hear him because he's so goddamn quiet. How about you fucking... Oh, Alright, no, I'm not going <laughs> to... <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm playing so... Dicky too as we speak. Okay, so speaking oh. of the Muslim world, we see now that, like even France is trying to go out to go out their legs because now they're, they're like in Syria now. Mm -hmm. Do you see that? That was the first now like intercontinental like transportation between two really uh, country. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was the first time that's happened. Other than you know, wait, 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 wait. They're in Syria. What the fuck? Yeah, in, they're already there. Syria. I thought they were going they're for like Jordan. They're in Jordan. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna try to move towards Mecca. And once they have Mecca, at one. Every Muslim nation that will ever exist at that period is going to go for, for France. For France. Which, yeah, they're going to go That's, that's, that's we know what's going to happen. But this is just the beginning. I'm going to call it in two months. 
we're gonna see a whole new like level of imperialism with other nations. We're gonna well, see that's oh, kind of good for me, but it's also kind of bad because the thing is with you have to be careful about Anatolia, especially as a Greek nation, because as soon as you conquer one land in Anatolia, once the next Ottomans spring up, because Ottomans they always spring up every two turns. Mm-hmm. So, so like cybiotics here. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, how did he get? It? Uh, I, um, who who is the um Abdul whatever his name was? He's gone um, now. Um, yeah, before that, I mean, I remember when there was like what two Ottoman civil war. Uh, there was like an Ottoman civil war. Yeah, like, this they had civil wars. Um, every this is when Anthony and I had that Portugal like a couple months ago. Oh mm-hmm. God, we gotta talk about that. Oh, what yeah. happened now? Oh, that um, was during my Spain. Yeah, you had you yeah had, yeah you had a Spain. Oh yeah, and, and remember we were gonna go to war. Um, we we we, we were, um there was you weren't gonna let B- uh, Bavari- Bavari- Bavaria Bavaria through. So there there was that whole thing. Mm-hmm. With, um, we were, I remember that. Yeah, that Spain was weird. That was a very weird Spain. That was a very weird time. Thing is now Cassus now Cassus Belli. I feel like even after this and Claudius thing, it's gonna get so much more active. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't know, it just feels gr- like we're on the cusp of a new era. So what do you guys also, um, oh my lord, what was that? Um, what do you guys think about, like, that unofficial vote for, like, what do you got, what are your thoughts on, like, the resetting oh, of the map? Oh, fuck, fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Here's the thing. So Bob would never do that. Saying, He's the map mm-hmm. So many people keep on saying how that it would make it so easy for uh, new smaller countries to come. It wouldn't. Evan wouldn't. It would every totally disregard country, com- every country like unions, size like New France. Every mm. country is proportionate to their strength relative to other nations. Mm-hmm. Their people. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And let, let me let me say oh, this. Big. Let me say this. That's because no one can beat them. The reason they're so big is because no one wants to go against them. So it doesn't matter mm-hmm. if everyone's so small. They're going to get the same land anyways. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter how, how if we restart the map. Even New France, the reason they're that big is because they kicked Newfoundland's ass and America's ass, and that's yeah. why they're that big. It's actually Canada, not Newfoundland. Well, you, well you I mean, we like did we did day, kick man. Newfoundland's ass in like a turn. Like yeah. I, I don't even call yeah, it. Yeah, I remember that. You guys also have to look at it like this: almost all countries, you know, all almost all countries, you know, not original yeah. are made from a war. Like Greece, mm-hmm. like my Greece, we are made from the ashes of Byzantium. That's yeah. why you know if we if we we if we spawned. You know, full Greece, we would probably have half of Anatolia by now because Ottomans didn't spawn until maybe like two, like one to three turns after we spawned in. Hmm. And even then, though, then there was like that Ottoman war. Um, we traded Smyrna for um, Izmir and um, Turkish and English for um, for uh, Alexandropolis, which is a pretty hmm. good trade to unify um, Western and Central Thrace. But. Hmm. I, I don't know though. You have to admire this though. Europe could really unify when it needs to, yeah. like, like, like when um, when I they were. They There's too much problems, yeah. especially with Austria falling. That's crazy. Oh, that's that's a fucking disaster. Okay, so no, by unify, I mean like get. Uh, I mean like unify against like a problem. Like, like, like outside powers, like what? like you know North the Muslim America? powers and stuff. <laughs> New France, yeah. stay out. Yeah. No. Listen, I I gotta like say this though. Europe you guys time. remember when um China thought they could um influence mm. Europe? Yeah, muscle oh. Germany out of um mm-hmm. out of their dominance. That was oh, so stupid. Yeah. Yeah. That was a. Uh, I always find it funny that Penguin is always under the impression yeah. that you can actually fight a war, full scale war against a power in. Oh, dude, that's the same I mean, thing with New Spain. Well. Think about it. New Spain does that too. They, mm-hmm. they just fight the the thing is. These these nations are untested. These na- like this is China's, I think, first like proper war. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with well, right? gonna... yeah with allies and shit. Yeah, like. Well, I gotta say this now. New Zealand played an awesome game with the whole. Oh, that was badass. That was what happened with New Zealand? That was I didn't absolutely exactly follow up on that. What happened? So, so, so what New they Zealand fed them did, a fake plan. Yeah, yeah, they were feeding them fake intel, and then they convinced the Chinese that they were gonna invade like the south of China. And then they ended up hitting them in the north of China, and they caught Absolutely their armies completely brilliant. off guard. That's and cool. then China too spawned in. So the Chinese armies are currently pinned, 
in between a New Zealand invasion mm-hmm. force and a Republic of China rebellion. That's actually genius. It, mm-hmm. it was really... This, this re- is like, like art of war type shit. This is perfect. This is... Yeah, it's some fucking James Bond level oh, like... Fucking, I think the USA tried to do that shit to us when we were at yeah. war with them. They tried sending mm-hmm. us this whole document that they would like demote people if they sent it to other people, but it was a public document. It was not at exactly. all subtle. We knew that it was... We knew that it was fake. Well, on that subject, we have found out today in New France that one of our... One of our like... Superior I'll say war hero. Members. Yeah, one of our one of He's our war heroes. Really old like, I, like, I'm surprised. <laughs> I'm surprised. I'm, I'm genuinely shocked. Um, so one of our members, who you you guys probably already know, I don't really want to name drop him yet, but he was on the Superior Council, and he's been. A, kind of a critic of the whole New France unification yeah, thing, which he, there have been. There have been, been critics. It. He thought that Quebec was just influencing the whole thing. Yeah, they, he thought that we were just shoving everyone into a nation, which that's not how it really worked. But, I mean, I could see where that came from. You mm-hmm. know, I'm obviously kind of biased in that assumption because I'm the fucking leader of New France. But, so, apparently, there have been multiple plots of a full-blown revolt Oh, what? In New France. Yeah, I didn't did even you hear see? That part. Didn't... Okay, you weren't okay, you didn't see what I was fucking talking about earlier. Oh, so no. we I we were sent screenshots by a couple nation leaders to corroborate it. Like there was a full blown plan for a Metis revolt. Who against... wanted to do a Metis revolt? Are you kidding me? Yeah, he wanted to do a Metis revolt against the people who owned the Metis territories. What? Like we don't know how that's that so stupid. He was Very stupid. A revolt. In a nation that is already established. And, yeah, I don't know. I really do not know. But, um, you know, everyone in New France gets fair trial. So, like, as we speak right right now, I, no one, no one fucking took them seriously. What's going on with with Europe? Now that Austria-Hungary had fallen, what's going on? Yeah. A huge-ass power uh, vacuum in Germany. 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 I do not like that. Germany I think Serbia is. I, I think Serbia is going to become a big part in all mm-hmm. in all in northern Balkan. And now Europe. we can't we forget. Or, or oh, you go. What's his name is back? Um, the, the, um what's his name? Da- Dangerous, whatever the original Austrian leader. Damage. Damage. He's back. He owns a Hungary now. We can't forget. So now we've got Serbia. We've I got like. I like his Hungary, Hungary though. His Hungary got, looks cool. All right. And Do we've we got to... the Ger- German Kaiserreich now trying to get that entire power back. And that region of the world is so controversial. Whoever controls that has access to Italy, to the Soviets, to the rest of the Balkans. It's that's like the one place right now is like the epicenter to the rest of Europe. All right. Think, any um, any shakeup in that could spiral into a full on like world war. Yeah. Do, do oh no. It, it, always, it always always it always it always always been um. Do you want to pull in a person? Quiet. Yeah, just because we've been talking for a while and they're. Alright, pull it to like a Dad, we're, we're gonna up. send you out. We're gonna need to bring someone new in. Yeah. Let's bring an eye cup. He used yeah. to lead Austria. We should get his I, oh, yeah, Can I just say one more thing? On yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let him, yeah. let him have his closing remarks. Italy, yeah. the thing is, the thing is with Italy, though, is Italy's always been the biggest, you know, it's either been the biggest spot where everyone competes in historically and cast as belly wise, too. Or it's been the place where yeah. um the biggest powers are. I mean, for a while though, they were the biggest power. It was always Germany and them warring. I mean, I don't mm-hmm. know because I came into the because this because I wasn't there for the war to three Rome's because we because as a Portugal we left right before yeah, and then we I came right there. back. But I heard it was because um I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it was because like the Byzantines thought the Bulgarians were about to invade, so they declared war. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I can just ask my prime minister because he was a, he was the Byzantium prime minister. Huh. Anyway, all right. Well, thank you, Dad. Yeah, uh, thank yes. you. But I'll, uh, I'll come. Ba- I'll come back a couple months later to get, to bring the milk. Right. Uh, yes. Hi. Hi. Yes. Love you, Dad. Uh, oh yeah, Mario went AFK. Okay, how are we gonna? Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring us... an eye cup. Let's welcome. All right, let's welcome eye cup into our podcast now. What's how are you, eye cup? Hey. What's going on, man? Okay, so we were just talking about the power vacuum that was going on between. Like when with the old Austria Hungary now dissolving, and how you well, you're Austria Hungary actually. I mean, yeah. and now you got yeah. the new Hungary coming in, you've got Germany and Serbia competing for this power vacuum. What do you think about that? Who do you think should get that land? 
Uh, I don't think it's much of a power match with uh, Germany, clearly. Well, Serbia is a good... Uh, they're almost pretty good, so... Actually, Germany might be contested by Serbia. So um, who would however, you prefer to have? Uh, I think nope. it's Germany. Germany. I think I'd prefer the Germans taking it. Right, because we were talking about how, like, once you get that power vacuum, you have access now back to Italy, back to the Soviets, you can, and even into the Balkans. And so once that you have that region of the world, that's such a central part of Europe, and at least in Costa's belly and how the political, everything, the political um, climate is right now. So we were just saying, whoever gets that land is going to be become probably the new world power. Yeah, I'm getting I, a I phone call. So. Hold on, especially with all the uh, connected railroads, um, leading right, exactly. from Venice all the way up to. Uh, Pretty and with those Denmark. railroads, within at least four turns, you can go from Venice to Lisbon just because yeah. of how quickly you can move around. The Austro-Italian railway system is very well thought out. It's a good system. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And then with that, like that's one of the things that um, Dad was talking about earlier with um, the like the connecting the, the Europe by railroads. I think once we do that, we're gonna see a new age in Costa's Valley about how we everyone can just move around so quickly. Let's get one not like that'll make Portugal be able to declare war on Russia it just because of how easy everything will be now. This, that's just going to be a completely new era. And I think once we can, if if Europe is unified like that, that will be either the beginning of a new Caucasus Valley or the end of all the nations who have thought that they were safe. Oh yeah, absolutely. I think it would it would be a way different turn in uh, competitiveness for sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, because all like the top nations, you know, whoever that may be, Serbia, Germany, uh, the new Spain possibly, or new Italy, uh, they'll uh, surely take over the weaker neighbor. Mm. Mm-hmm. New that new Italy has got a lot of a lot of weight on its shoulders. After now, it happened. Even though it can now go south with all those railroads, it can conquer and all, and even Rome. Rome is the no, I think it's Rome and Berlin are the only three like city number threes. So that's that that, that entire region that Italy now has access to. That that's gonna make him such a world power too. Yeah. And I think even with that world pass power status, I think Kirill probably won't even make the best use of it either, because he has a big legacy to fill up, and I don't think he and his guys can back that up. That being Italy terrible. was a fucking country. Yeah. Like, fucking with Italy might as well just be fucking with Cascadia for European equivalent. You just mm-hmm. don't do that. You don't trouble. You did not trouble Italy. They, Italy troubles you. That's speaking of Italy, I think Carol got his fucking mic to work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, look at him in front of that. All right. Thank you for your time, Mike. Up. No problem. We're going to move Kirill in. All right. I saw on a few. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Sorry about that. All right. right. Now I'm just going to Okay. Nope, that's I up again. Sorry, man. <laughs> ah, all right, try again. Kyro, there we go. Hey, cool. What's up? Oh, look, you hear him. He's so cute. Okay. Uh, <laughs> no homo. All right. Yeah, we were just, uh, just yeah. barely talking about Italy in the power vacuum in the Balkans, essentially, to Austria collapsing all the railways. Mm-hmm. Uh. So I guess my question would be, what do you think should be happening with that area? Like, who do you think should get all those railways? And I know your opinion will m- likely be skewed because you lead Italy. But who do you think is in the best position to get it and who should get it? Other than Italy. So that would mean yeah. the new Hungary, Serbia, or Germany. Serbia. Serbia? Why's that? <laughs> <laughs> Man, a few words I can tell. I don't know. Why not? I, I'm on un, unprecedented logic. I can't argue that. I can't either. That's a pretty um, good damn good argument. All right, all right. That's it. Um, okay. Also, again, I do have a question for you though. A lot of people are wondering because obviously Daryl was the was the the Italy before you, and he, you've got a lot on your shoulders. You've got. I know that there's a um, Parma trying to come into existence, which also might rival you in the Italian Peninsula. You have you trying to reclaim Daryl's, I guess, legacy, if you will. What What do you think you have? Do you think you are ready? (sighs) 
<laughs> Me too. That's a fucking question. <laughs> I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I mean, that's that's the best way to put it. That's the best that's way to good, put it. That's a good way. All right. Yeah. Yeah, because those are some big ass shoes to fill, and you don't want to say, "Yeah, I'm gonna fucking do it. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna be better than Italy. I'm gonna fucking conquer Africa. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick Germany's ass." And then you actually try and do any of those things, and you get like shit on. Yeah. It so, happened to me with the Soviets during Russia. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just you you don't wanna you don't wanna set yourself up for ridicule. Because if you if you set the bar low and you jump over the bar, people go, Okay, he did that. Then you jump over a higher bar, okay, he did that. Jump over a higher all right, he did that. Oh, he's not that bad. Right? And that's kinda and then the last bar you back. try to hop over it. Sorry to interrupt you, bless you. And the last bar you try to hop over it and uh <clears throat> Your knee gets caught and you get fucked and your teeth knock you into the other bars. There you go. All yeah, right. So, question. Oh, it's okay. Sorry. Go. No, go ahead. Okay. So, you, Carol, you can come and you can say an answer to this too. Out of every country and every continent in Goss's belly right now, what do you think is the biggest Cold War? What do you think is a war that's about? It's bound to happen. Oh. CSA versus New France. It's going to happen. That's going to happen. CSA? Yeah. No, not CSA. Sorry. You mean Cascadia? Cascadia? Yeah. That's not a fight. Okay. No. I, can, I can see it happening when I abdicate because I do kind of want to abdicate after Christmas. Mm. I. All right. Newsflash. Blasty later announces he's abdicating after Christmas. Okay. That's, that's been public for a while, honestly. But really? yeah. Like, here's the thing. I, it's, it's fucking exhausting leading New that's, France. It's, yeah. it's not like any other nation I've ever done. There's a lot of people, and there's an actual, like, political government. system. Yeah. There's a government. There's elections. There's fucking... There's all sorts of shit, and it's just a pain in the ass to run, which is why I set it up to be a democracy. I don't have to do shit if it's a democracy. <laughs> people do things for me, and they want to. And that's what we were kind of pushing for. So, but even then, I still have jobs. Like, it's, despite us being, like, French, we're, we're structured like the British. And, you know, so- uh-huh. Hi, Happy. Hi, Happy. But we're structured like the British. So, you know, I mean, we kind of take that as, you know, Quebec was under British rule for a century and a half by this point. So you'd imagine they'd keep some of the shit that they learned. And Mm -hmm. so bills still have to be passed with like imperial assent. And I still have to at least try and show up to parliament meetings, even though I'm not going to fucking go. I don't care. Um, But yeah, like I, we set it up as a democracy and in a democracy, anything can fucking happen. Like right now we have a candidate who, who's running on, I want to kill the fucking Soviets because they are communist. And we're like an ocean away, just totally, rem- yeah, totally oh. removed from the fucking Soviets, and that's still a campaign issue. Well, technically, you could go across Siberia, but <laughs> yeah, that's too much of a fucking effort. Yeah, let's just go colonize Siberia. <laughs> yeah, there we go. But okay. you know, it's communist. Oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Speaking of communists, what's going on with English with England too? I don't know. I haven't seen anything out of them. Probably. They've been yeah, there. Like, uh, they've been there for at least a month now, right? Just you know, they have, <clears throat> so this relates back to old SMHC times. Uh, they have spawned, and they will likely have a battle this turn because no matter what, <clears throat> uh, on world map, they are in Wales, which is not a very good, very smart place to spawn in the first place due to the size of Wales and approximate mm-hmm. proximity of every single town in Wales. So when England 2 moves, no matter what, TFJ will be able to reach him with his army, no matter where they move in Wales. They will be within two steps, no matter where they go. I didn't and know that, that is gone. just a recipe for failure. I think maybe England 2 could win a battle against you know, England, because I think ever since TFJ's just taken charge completely of the UK, I think they've kind of fallen off a bit. They, they they can get kills, but oh dear god, Irish riflemen. Ugh. 
but do they suck or are they like they very do suck uh, yeah. i remember specifically in a raid we had we only had one actually uh it was us smhc versus uk and clean irish rifles i think the score was i'll have to look back let me give it won't be too long though let me do this uh, I, like, I like the massacre at the great rapids yeah it was equivalent <laughs> let me it's find the actual like image Hell of a that's job. fucking that's fucking crazy how that's like a that's an expression now mm. Dude, I'm about to fuck, i'm about to fucking grand rapids this guy <laughs> All right, Glasses Bell, you heard it here first. Make that a thing. I'm going to agree with you. Make that a okay, thing. Oh, yeah. Did you guys get score to was... uh, Oh, yeah. yeah we, we already fucking talked to him. What was he like? Anyway, but uh, he's pretty cool. Oh. Fiji! He, he said, didn't he say he wanted Serbia to fill the power vacuum in Central Europe? Yeah, he did. No, so, no, he said Germany. Oh, no. He was the one who said Germany, and then Kuro was the one yeah. who said Serbia. Oh, he wanted yeah. Anyway, but the score Australia. with. Uh, but the right. score with uh, the UK, including Irish Rifles, was 35 to 15, us taking the win. Oh, man, 15 bad. is decent for a raid against most of the Cascadians. But yeah. still, that's, that's just not a good score, period. That's that's not, that's not yeah. like... No, that's not... Okay, that's I'll, give them, I'll give them it's a lot of Cascadians. Like, Cascadians yeah. are tough. I think I've only seen a couple nations go toe-to-toe with mm-hmm. Cascadians. That being, like, New France, Germany, and Old Italy, maybe. But the I'll, I'll say I'll be the first to say it right now. Old Italy, Italian like veterans, fucking fell off hard. Yeah, as really- as can be seen in Grand Rapids when we fucking smacked a bunch of old Italian veterans. Like they they fell off hard. So yeah, I think At the same time they do kind of suck. Yeah, they used to be really good. I have no idea how they fell off so hard after going from Italy to the USA. So I don't know. been gone. Do you know how long we've been recording? I don't even know. I don't know. It's been at least 45 minutes. Oh, Jono's back. I've been, yeah, he's been back. Been I've back. been back. He just uh, hasn't yeah, talked. It's been 45, 45 minutes. All right. Oh, so Cairo, I'm going to have to say, well, I think we're going to have to say it. We put you back in the general. Thank you for your input. But mm-hmm. Cairo is wrapping up now. Dude, Cairo's a Talking up a storm. Hold on one sec. Let's edit that. Let's edit that. Dude, I don't. Dude, Kyrel just came in late. Oh, mm-hmm. is, oh, oh, I'm sorry, Kyrel. Yeah. Let's end it that. He here initially, but he, he said he was sick. Yeah. Oh, anyway, but, uh. Hmm. Yeah, so let's talk about Iberia. Finally, tension on me. But, uh. Yeah, let's do yeah. shit. So, where were you? In Iberia. I'm back. I heard <laughs> Iberia. <laughs> yeah, we're finally talking about it. So, what's everyone's thought? Everyone's thought on the Iberian situation? Please. Oh, my God. It's a fucking mess. Like,. Yeah. Especially why, coming why, from me, why, I used to own a Spain, and just it just hurts my soul. I just want why did you let Portugal get all down. of that Galicia? I don't know. What'd you, what'd you say, uh, Anthony? I said, why did Portugal get all of Galicia, and why is Cordoba even still alive? Why are you? Why is I don't Spain know alive? why Portugal has mm-hmm. Galicia. And why? Why are they letting um Cordoba stay alive? That's uh, such a perfect opportunity. That's even for. I think it was probably out of fear because the Spanish military. Is and to be quite honest, they were never. This on. is from my own personal. This is my personal Majorca feeling. So this will be full confirmation now. But uh, Lavold and Majorca will be invading Spain and Cordoba. Mm-hmm. In future, we have plans on potential negotiations for the rest of Catalonia back to give to Lavold. However, so are they a Catalonian independence movement? Uh, they're basically knockoff Catalonia, yes. That makes me vomit in my own mouth and swallow it. So, do you plan to, like, unify Spain in your own way, or... You know, that is a good question. I don't think, with how... With the how how we've written that majority... Yeah, yeah, wouldn't work. With the movement, uh, as Cascade is referring to for Levold, I don't think that would work. Maybe Spanish prosperity type, type thing, but... That would not work. And I know for myself, we have no interest in taking anything other than coastline. Hmm. Our, at most, we would be annexing most, if not all, of Cordoba. But our dream is coastline. Yeah. We would very much like to participate and hold a fraction of uh, Mediterranean trade. No, Gibraltar is a good question. Yeah, what would you do about Gibraltar? So, this is a good question. Uh, 
It all depends on what Murphy says about my spawn, because I have not decided yet. I do know my two locations. First being the Balearic Islands, second being Gibraltar. TFJ mm. has given me the all clear to use Gibraltar as long as I give it back after the war. But I'm going to see if I can at least try to talk with him about that, but I'm sure he would very much like it back. However, I don't think he'd really come up that much of a fight if we had to. Mm-hmm. That's but true. the other thing is, uh, I'm not sure about the Balearics because with us spawning there, Murphy and I are still talking. We would need a navy, and navies are very expensive. Mm-hmm. And, on, and on top of that, our army. So the likely option is spawn in Gibraltar, and I'm trying to talk to Murphy with the Balearics option. But... Well, okay. My question is. Does Spain currently own Valencia? They do. Uh, no. They do. Valencia. Okay, never mind then. Yeah. Valencia is so, on the east coast of Spain in what used to be Aragon. Yeah. Our uh, the Voldenized plan is when we take Valencia, uh, we are likely going to... Sp- uh, are you familiar with how Jerusalem, modern-day Jerusalem is split, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're probably going to do something similar. The uh, One half of the city being owned by us and the other half being owned by them and that meaning we would yeah we no not the province we would split the rp but it would be under their control so like like lore wise you guys would have the province split but in actuality you're not going to yeah correct okay which because i i was trying to push in our negotiations for an alliance into giving us valencia but Seeing as my other options for expansion are not limited, period, I'm perfectly fine. We're likely going to go into Morocco and Algeria, possibly Libya. Hmm. That would make sense, that would. So who do you and it wouldn't matter regardless, because most of our population is going to be slaves. <laughs> uh, other than France, who's the next country to start colonizing? Who? Wait, who? What? what, what? Other, other than France, who's the who's the first country to start colonizing? Well, Benelux. we no, we've already been in the process of it, but our ship hasn't gotten there yet. We're on our way to Haiti, like as we speak. Yeah, See. Uh, I don't get why other nations think they're gonna take Haiti and Dominica. Like, yeah, they can fucking kiss fucking, my ass. I've heard oh. France and like new spain say it all the time. Yeah, they're like, oh, I should be getting Dominican or some fucking stupid shit like that already got a boat going there it's, you can't really do much about it unless you know naval combat mm. cough cough first naval war come on that'd be cool Dude, also, I, I literally have a fleet ready to go it's called the atlantic fleet yeah. like also it, we have the they want to fucking tussle i'm down and also i don't think new spain would be winning any wars no no nope. this is not trash. Trash. this is they're merely really... something that happened new but, spain uh, is an uh, awful i know well they're not awful but they're not good either. They're, they're not. I mean, no, they're still working on it. I mean, I, I see. Oh, yeah, they're, I see potential. they're new. I should not have they're said new. that they're fucking terrible, but like. They're new. They're new. They're so let them, like, be new. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they, they're, they've been trying to push the fucking bar, you know, like, well, give us give us the Dominican Republic and we'll let you keep hating. No, we want the whole island. We're literally and giving. Also, they have free reign over Cuba, Puerto Rico. They the always, fucking ABCs. Why do they always threaten Cascadia? Like, they always... I don't know. I They're don't like know. North Korea of, of America. No, dude, it's not even them. It's everybody on the East Coast they has been they just... Can, they, they think, think they, they can, can take, take on Cascadia. Cascadia. Yeah. All of them. Think... CSA, fucking USA 2, Pink's why? USA, why? and fucking... And, and like, New that? England. Well, not New England. New England is more aligned with Cascadia. New England's friends with Cascadia, but all of the in New Spain, like they're they're just like, oh yeah, I'll fucking beat Cascadia and I'll take so this this and this. I fucking not, dude. I think the issue is because Cascadia has not fought an actual like full blown war in a long time. It's been at most if you're going to call them war skirmishes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and with them going to war with federal Mexico, I think this will show. Like, just one single battle that other Mexicans won't even be needed. I think this will well, show to the rest of the community that even if it is a shitty group, Cascadia yeah. is still a force to be reckoned with, because mm-hmm. shitty group can still get killed. But shitty group versus Cascadia is not a good match for a raid. No, it's, it's bad. 
I mean, it's going to be hard for them to prove the point coming off of the, what was it, the massacre of Veracruz, where they oh, literally yeah. just fucking butchered him with. Oh, damn. And that was majority Cascadians in, like, New French anyway. Just yeah, yeah, it was What's just fucking volunteers. With Mexico, too. Or, or is I don't I... Well, Mexico, too, they've been <laughs> promised independence by Cascadia. That's, that's as far as I know. I but, know the backroom dealings on that, but that I'm not a liberty to say. Yeah, yeah. But like I can guarantee you as of now, they're going to be independent. Yeah, Cascadia uh, doesn't want to fucking annex all of these countries. They just want yeah. to get to the Panama Canal without yeah, sending a fleet. Because, because obviously Federal Mexico was giving them problems, so mm. And I will say this, I'm pretty sure France is listening. France, stop trying to say you're going to go to the fucking canal. Nobody likes it. Casc if you guys try and go to the canal, Cascadia will fucking murder you guys. And we are going to harass your f fleet the entire way there. They will make a dedicated Atlantic fleet. Just yeah. The they, it, yeah, dude, they will fucking... <laughs> and they, they'll tell us, too. They'll be like, hey, they're on their way to the Panama Canal. Do something about it. Like, we, yeah. we have a pact like that. It's part of a deal. Right. Well, what you said was stupid. <laughs> all of this, anyway, like, but yeah. that, that's yeah. besides the point. I think, really good conversation, guys. I, but I think it's time to come to an end. We've been recording for almost... Yeah, for 50 minutes right now. Yeah, woo! All right. Well, that was our first rendition of the Costas Belly Podcast. We will probably be doing this weekly. What do you guys think? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. maybe weekly, but uh, we might not have. Maybe, but maybe yeah, week. maybe maybe every two weeks. Yeah. So whatever, well, whatever the schedule is, we're going to be doing this a lot. We're going to be looking for you guys to keep coming in. If you guys want to put your input in, we just want to make sure you guys aren't squeakers first. But you know, that's that's, <laughs> that's, 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 yeah, that's the actual rule. No one cares about anything else. <laughs> all right, I don't, I don't care what country you're in. Just don't be under thirteen. All right, that's all I care about. <laughs> All right, but, so, yeah, I think in terms of actual stuff, we could do like once every two weeks. But if there's big news, once yeah, like this this week for our first week, this would we had a lot of news for our first week to cover. Yeah, mm -hmm. this would be big news type thing. All right, well, we're gonna be signing out for this conversation. Uh, All right, for the next podcast. Right, thank you. Right, see you guys. Bye. Au revoir.